the pillars are also covered with mysterious symbology, some of which has since been identified in an ancient group who not only share these same symbols within their culture, even to this has day, it's been hypothesized by a number of individual researchers as the possible culprits for the construction of the site itself, dating back to what we feel is a now lost antiquity. Gobekli Tepe has been academically dated as being at least 12,000 years old. Yes, it's human. So it's between 12,700 years old and 9,200 years old. Modern studies have discovered compelling links between the symbolism of the site and that of the symbolism still used within Aboriginal groups of Australia. Famous for their ancient ancestry and their claims of a lost time before history books began, which they now call dream time, it seems that further to these curious beliefs, they also share an ancient language of symbols with the site. The similarities between this mysterious language and that of the symbology carved upon what is claimed as the oldest site on earth is undeniable. This realization has enabled a number of individual researchers to conclude that there was once a now lost civilization who they they now believe and claim was once made up of aboriginals who they also claim seemingly survived upon the continent of Australia but were mysteriously wiped out upon the many other continents of the earth. Furthermore, it seems that there are a number of areas upon the site that mainstream sources would prefer stay covered up. The Turkish government recently visited the site and committed an act of criminal vandalism, filling a number of intriguing voids at the site with cement. The question is, what were they so desperate to conceal? Could there possibly be compounding evidence at the site supporting the new and current hypothesis of the site once having aboriginal origins?